Hello, this is David Weatherford, your professor for your American History II class. And I want to tell you a little bit about the class so you can, can keep up with me and be okay. This is going to be a six-week class, which means that every Sunday, I've got an assignment that's due to me from now until the, until the first week of August. So make sure that you're keeping up with all the homework, with all the activities that you got to do in order to complete this class. The class involves, it involves 12 lectures. You'll have two each week to complete. Uh, my lectures are recorded. They're on their Zoom that's been transferred over to uh, YouTube. And these lectures are going to give you a good insight into the American history of, uh, of, of the latter part of the, of the 1800s and the early part of the 20th century um, and up until the present day time. Um, <clears throat> We are going to uh, cover two lectures each week. The first two are going to be the Reconstruction of America and the, um, the America, the Roaring Twenties and the Great Depression. The fifth part of the class is going to deal with World War II, and it's going to deal with the early part of the Cold War, about 1960, 65 time period, about where Lyndon Johnson comes in to, as president. And then we're going to finish up... <clears throat> With the, with the war on terrorism, the world of terrorism that starts around, around 1968 and will continue on until the present day. And then the final lecture, number 12, will be American pop culture. Now, these are all recorded lectures. I advise you to watch these lectures. As you watch these lectures, make sure that you review the activities on Canvas. I have put a lot of material on Canvas for you guys. When you watch these videos, I want you to get a copy of the term sheet. The term sheet comes in handy when it comes to taking the assignments, to doing the assignments. If you do not use the term sheet and you do not use the lecture notes that I provided for you, and they're all 12 lecture notes are on this, are on Canvas, along with the 12 recorded lectures. You got two sources here uh, to make your class successful, make your course successful. As you go through the exam, or go through the assignments, I want you to use the, the class notes. Your true, false, a lot of your material comes out of these lecture notes and from the actual lectures that are recorded. So your term sheet and your lecture notes are very important to be successful in this class. I've also had included in Canvas a chronology of the major events that took place from 1865 into the present. There's questions on the test from the chronology. Make sure you use that. You've got a list of presidents, first ladies, and vice presidents on campus. Make sure you use that. Okay? So there's a lot of material here on campus that will make you very successful in this class if you use it. And I advise you to do it. Do watch those lectures and do use that term sheet. That is, that's the main way to be successful in this class and to pass all these uh, the, the six assignments you got to do in class. Speaking of the assignments, I've also have guidelines for you to use when you go through and take the assignments, when you do, when you complete the assignments. All right. I'm going to send you an announcement every Sunday of the, of the new assignment that is going to be due the next Sunday. Your first assignment is already on campus. It's due on Sunday coming up, the second day of January, the second day of, of July. So you got to get going with this, and and don't and don't mess around because you only got Thursday, you got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday on this first two on these first two lectures. Okay, the rest of you'll have a week to work on them. But every Sunday, I'm going to make sure that you have your new assignments. They'll be sent to you through email on the announcements. The due date will be on each assignment. Also on Canvas is, a, is an area for the assignments, and you can click on those assignments when I, when I post them, which will be on the Sundays. So every Sunday, you get the assignment. Okay? That's your first part. When you get your assignment, download it onto your computer. Save it with your name on it. So you'll put down, for instance, David Weatherford. I'm gonna put, I put down David Weatherford and I put down assignment one. And then I would go through and take that exam, take that assignment. And then I would save it on my computer. Okay. Then you're going to email it or send it to me through Canvas. Canvas does work. You send it through Canvas. Send me that assignment on the Sunday that is due. I'll download your assignment onto my computer. I will save it. Then I will grade it. Once it's been graded, I'll save it again. 
and I'll email it to you so you'll have the answers that you'll have the results of that exam within a few hours. If you said to me, usually I get things back to you guys less than 12 hours. So you should get back pretty quickly. And I do check emails all during the week and all during the weekend. And a lot of you guys will send your assignments to me on Friday and Saturday. They'll be great on those two days and sent right back to you. If you do not hear from me, I did not get your assignment. I will email you on Tuesday reminding you that you're past due on the assignment that was due on Monday. So don't get too far behind on me. Okay, that's the main thing to be successful in my class. You'll have six assignments. These are your exams for the class. These exams will be true, false, multiple choice, some matching, some listing, and some short essay. So they should not be too much of a, of a, stre of a stretch to get these all done within a day's time or within a few hours' time. So if you do what I ask you to do and use that term sheet and use all those all those documents that I have for you guys on Canvas, you should be just fine, okay? I have learned something about, about college kids, about going to college. Now, I've been to college a lot, all right? I went to Northwest Florida State College when it was first, when it's when in its first five years of existence. I went to Troy, I went to Troy University in Troy, Alabama. I attended Florida State in Tallahassee. I went to Ole Miss, he got a master's in Ole Miss in the, in the, in the, at the Center for the Study of Southern Culture. I got another master's University of West Florida. And I have learned something. The best way to teach history for you guys to learn history is through storytelling. I'm going to tell you lots of stories. I want you to go through and look into your family stories, into your family history. That means talking to grandma and grandpa, you know, talking to, to an older aunt or uncle. And find out your find out your history, that your your family history, because storytelling is where it at is where it's at. Now, in this class, we're going to build our counties. Northwest Florida is built during this time period. I'm going to discuss the railroad going across Northwest Florida. We're going to discuss the big tourist industry in Northwest Florida, the railroads, the airlines that come in here. It's all going to be it's all going to be covered in this in this class. The history of Eglin Air Force Base, the history of Alparazzo and Knoxville, and particularly Fordham Beach and Destin will be covered in this class. So you'll have a lot of local history that you probably have not ever heard of. How do I know this stuff? When I moved to Valparaiso, I was 11 years old. This is 1963. All of my Sunday school teachers and all my parents' friends who were in their 60s and in their 70s and in their 80s grew up here in the 1920s, and they told us their stories. And I have those stories. I know a lot of local history, guys. It's a lot of neat things that happened here in our county. So we're going to go over all this stuff in my class, okay? I also learned that a lot of you guys do not like listening to lectures. You don't like reading notes. So therefore, I went to YouTube and got a complete collection of, document, of documents that deals with American history that starts with reconstruction into the present time, documentaries that you can watch if you want to on campus. Got a lot of neat things in there. My most favorite part is a pop culture, where I started in the 1920s with the early jazz bands and New Orleans Dixieland jazz bands. We go into early Broadway, we look at early musicians that were on W. Uh, SM, SUM in Nashville, Tennessee, at the Grand Ole Opry. We're going to look at bluegrass, and I go right into American music and American dance. And I think you guys will very much enjoy listening to all this stuff. So y'all do spend a little bit of time exploring and looking into what's on YouTube on my, on my, on my documentaries I recorded for you guys to watch. I got I got a section that deals with the American authors of the 1920s, the Lost Generations on there. I got William Faulkner on there, and I got Tennessee Williams on there, and I got Zora Neale Hurston on there, and Marjorie Rawlins, the two famous Florida writers of the of the of the 1930s and early 1940s. Very important people. I have also got TV shows from the 1950s and the 1960s on there. So You'll give you a chance to look at a lot of different items here, guys, in this class. I want you to become good storytellers. I want you to love history. A lot of you guys say, oh, I hate history. Well, 
I have learned if you tell stories and watch movies and listen to music and watch people dance and so forth, that history comes alive. So in this class, we're going to look at American culture. We're going to look at American foodways, music, art, sports, dance, politics, religion, education, the economy. Among other items we'll look at during this during this time period. So I think you'll get a, you'll enjoy my class. I hope that you will enjoy my class. If you got any questions at all, call me. My phone number is 729-9676. You can email me. You can text me. If you got any problems, let me know about it and I'll try to help you out. Okay. Nothing is written in stone. I will bend over backwards, make sure that you have all your work completed and that you are ready to, to pass this class with flying colors. The average grade in my class is around an 86. If you do what I ask you to and use those Canvas resources, you'll get a 96 in the class. So you guys get busy. Y'all sit back, enjoy the lectures. The lectures are the full lectures that I give in a normal class. They're two hours, two and a half hours long. So you, you can stop them. You can pause them. Oh, by the way, make sure that the lectures on the on the on the uh, YouTube do start the beginning of the lecture. Some of them did not cross over correctly and they start in the middle of the lecture. Uh, make sure that you do make make sure they do start in the middle or in the beginning of the lecture. That's something you notice at the bottom of your screen when the when the videos start playing. OK, so if you guys got any problem or need any help, y'all just let me know. And y'all have fun. Thank you.